All right, so today I have decided to react to an artist from the GMA network and an artist from the ABS-CBN network. So, who might they be? Of course, the artist from the ABS-CBN network is the queen, Regine Velasquez Alcacid. Why have I chosen her? Because I am very curious to hear her rendition of R by Juan Carlos Labajo. She's probably gonna belt the hell out of it, man. I am so freaking um, curious. And on the other side, apparently, Marianne or Sabel, who is the winner of the Clash or one of the winners of the Clash, has performed Bridge Over Troubled Water and she killed it so i am very curious as well to hear it so this is going to be a fun two in one if you like my two in ones show me by liking this video and of course if you are new to the channel welcome maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel ako po si Ovela. i'm a sound engineer beat maker and content creator on youtube and with that being said I don't even know who I'd like to start with. I think we're gonna start with Regine, all right? So let's do that, let's go. I don't even recognize the song. Oh, this is completely different. Yes, they reimagined the song for her. They recomposed the song for Regine so that she can belt it. I know it. What? They made it into a ballad? This woman does not age. Mm. <laughs> does it sound strange and weird to you to hear uh, Regine Velasquez, who is, you know, a woman of a certain age, curse in a song like this? you guys appreciate you do you still appreciate regina velasquez's vocal tone because clearly with the age i feel like her vocal tone has gone down you know and she has like a deeper voice today than she used to to have when she was younger right i don't know i like it i really really do Is it me or does her voice sound a little tired? And I say this because it sounds like there is a little bit of texture in her voice, but the regime that I know does not have a specific vocal texture. Like her voice is pretty clean, you know? But here there's like a rumbling inside of her voice. And I feel like maybe because she's tired or sick or something and yet she's still capable of singing great right but there is something going on
Love it. Oh my God, she is feeling it. She is letting the rock star in her out. Wow. So it feels like, because that's what Juan Carlos Nabajo does, right? He's a rock star. Like the, the type of music that he does is like uh, OPM, rock, rock, alternative rock, OPM, you know, kind of um, experimental rock sometimes. But here, it just felt like they made it more rock for Regine Velasquez, right? They had to make it a little bit more epic for her so that she can take it to another level when it comes to belting. And my God, that climax, she did such a great job. Whew. She can sing. Oh. <laughs> oh, this woman can still sing. She loves to sing clearly. Thank you, Regine. I needed that today. I really did need that. I'm so happy I heard a different version of Eri, like a belting version of Eri. That was so freaking awesome. My gosh. All right, let's move on to Marianne Osabel and her rendition of Bridge Over Troubled Water. So this is a cam version of the performance. Um, is this on a GMA stage or did Marianne Osabel have her own concert? Because that's a possibility too. Also, I'm very, very sad because uh, I was sent a link for uh, tickets for uh, Regina Velasquez's upcoming uh, concert, but I think it will take place at the beginning of the month of April, and I go to the Philippines in May, you know, and I will be in Manila towards the second half of the month of May. So, you know, I won't be able to attend that. So, I just, you know, oh, it bothered me. I was like, my gosh, I'm gonna miss a Regina Velasquez concert, just this close, you know? But to be honest with you guys, if you hadn't told me that uh, it was Marianne Osabel, I would not have known because I cannot even recognize her in this video. And I can't 
uh, sit here and tell you that I am like that familiar with Marian Osabel that I can actually recognize her voice either, you know? No, I I'm not that familiar with her. Yes, I have reacted to Marian Osabel a few times, but I'm not that familiar with her voice, so. But I just know that she's a wonderful singer. Ah, now I recognize her when she got closer. Okay, yeah. Man, that dress though. Woo! Showing off those sexy legs. She gave me chills. Seriously, she is killing it. Preach! Is possessed? What has gotten into this woman? My god, she's killing it. This is a difficult song to sing. And yet, man, she's nailing everything. Attitude. insane growl going from the uh chest voice to head voice like that so freaking smooth wow Bruh, this is so polished that she is reminding me of Morissette Amon, like in her technique and execution. You know how Morissette Amon is like so polished? That's the exact same feeling that I'm getting from uh, Marianne Osabel here. Wow. She brought the house down. Oh, I'm going to She killed it. Yo, if you have a better version of uh, this video, because here I could not hear her very well, but I can so tell that she brought the house down. Legit, people were so freaking impressed. That was amazing. She felt like she was possessed by the spirit of the belters, Filipino belters that came before her. You go, girl. That was impressive. 
Mmm, this is a beautiful two-in-one reaction video. <laughs> now it is your turn to tell me in the comment section below your thoughts on both performances. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.